What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Draft 2 Glory. It's been uh, a few a few different uh, kind of leaks of when the demo is being released for FIFA 17. I can't wait for that. Um, it's either going to be in four days or seven days. So um, I've seen some different uh, different opinions from people throughout the community. But it's it's coming. It's so close. It is so close. But we're going to uh, start Draft of Glory today. And based on a comment from yesterday's video. So in yesterday's video, a lot of people disagreed with how I drafted, even though I won. I'm definitely taking that bail, by the way. Um, even though I won the draft, people still consider me a bad drafter. And one of the people put... Uh, Put in the comment section it's not necessarily that i draft poorly it's that i don't always explain why i pick the players i pick and my thought process properly and that's because i'm trying to like rush the draft a little bit and not make it too long but in today's video we're gonna we're gonna take like a, a, a more detailed look at how i draft and why i draft how i draft so first things first the reason why i took gareth bell there without looking at anything else i know there was the 97 messi there is because for me right now this is just the best player in the game and for me the main aim of draft to glory is to win as many drafts as possible to see where we end up at the end of the year now some people will make the argument that actually i've already won the glory phase of draft to glory because i've made so many coins um, and with that, I should try unique teams. But when I try unique things and when I try doing things differently, people then say, why didn't you pick the obvious choice? So what I'll do today is I'll build this team and I'll just give you guys a bit more of an in-depth breakdown as to why I pick what I pick. So when it comes to these silver cards, we know that they're not going to be in the starting lineup and they're not going to be on the bench. So actually, in this instance, it doesn't matter at all which player I pick. If there is a La Liga player, I'll pick him in case... There's no other La Liga striker that we could put up and then we can sub someone on for him. But as there is no La Liga player here, I will literally just pick the guy with the most pace. And that's this guy here. So he will get picked into the team just because he has an abundance of pace if we're forced to use him. So we get our left wings. Um, we've got three La Liga choices. I know like it's so hard to not go La Liga because of this. Uh, we've got Marco Royce, who's got a fantastic card. And we've got Alexis Sanchez, who's also got a fantastic card. And I haven't even used that Alexis Sanchez card. Um, the problem with picking either Royce or Sanchez is that you really limit your options of what you can do going forwards. If I take Royce, I then have to get a fitting Bundesliga centre mid and a fitting Bundesliga left back that are also going to be decent in game. It's going to have to be a Vidal or a Muller. Uh, you know, or like the left back is going to have to be like an Alaba or the team of the seasons that are available. Because if I get anything else, it's going to make for a really weak team and a team that I'm not going to enjoy playing with. However, if I take Cristiano Ronaldo, because I've already got that 95 bail, any Real Madrid striker or pretty much any La Liga striker is going to give everyone around good enough chem to be able to play. And because they're so high rated... They, they're even with only seven chem, they're still going to get a boost to stats. They're still going to be amazing. Not only that, but Ronaldo and Neymar both have five-star skill moves. Uh, obviously, Neymar has five-star, five-star. And if you look at this 98 Ronaldo, yes, we could get the 99 Ronaldo, but his card is just incredibly good. So here, like, I could potentially take Royce. I probably would never take Sanchez because you, the likelihood of getting a really good BPL centre mid and left back is really slim. And we'll watch it as we pick the centre mids and left back. We'll take a look at what we could potentially have got to mark up with Royce and Sanchez. But I'm going to pick Ronaldo for my left wing spot. He just fits better. And we'll take that left centre mid spot first of all. And we get ourselves no BPL player, right? So not taking Sanchez was smart straight away. And the Bundesliga player that we get... I suppose we do get a BPL player with Pereira, um, who's actually got a really good card. I, I looked at that and thought it was the Serie A version. So Pereira would have been all right. But then again, we would have required now strong link at centre-back or left-back, which would have been difficult because he's from Watford. Um, or we could have taken the Bundesliga Xhaka. But again, it would have only given a soft link to Royce. And because of that massive lack of pace at 52 pace, not an ideal replacement. So what I would pick here is I would actually go for Pjanic. And the reason why I go for Pjanic is because there's options to get left-back and centre-back to link with him, and then a striker to link with Ronaldo to give him 7 chem. But also, as a substitute, Pjanic will make a very, very good player. So Pjanic gets picked there. Now, I know we have no chem in the team so far, but it will come. Trust me, it will come. In the cam spot, we get these options. So we actually get another BPL player there. We also get an Argentinian player that would have linked with Pereira. 
Uh, we get Cordona here, who actually gets a, a nice link up to that striker up top. Um, we get an Ira Divizzi, we get Houlihan, who we're just never, ever going to use, right? And even Dimitri Payet, his card's good, but compared to what we're going to be coming up against, it's not good enough. Uh, that being said, Payet wouldn't be a bad choice. Like, the, Pereira would have been alright, but even if, let's say we did pick Pereira, right? Let's say Pereira is there at the left centre mid and Payet's here at Cam. They're, they're just on 7 chem, that's it. Like, in fact, Perey would only be on 4 chem because he needs a second week link to, to give him the 7 chem that he would need. So it still wouldn't be that helpful. In the meantime, I mean, this Piatti card is great. We've used him before. I really enjoyed him. So as a substitute, he might be a pretty good uh, alternative. And Cardona here as well, although he has a lack of pace at 76 for a cam, that's not actually not even that slow, to be fair. It's pretty good. He's got a really well-rounded card. So from these choices... Because we've now avoided BPL to an extent, it's going to be Cardona or Piatti. Now, neither of them are likely to start the game. So, I guess picking Cardona right now for the chem would be decent because then both of these players get 7 chem if they do have to start the game. But it's unlikely that they will. In at left back, we get ourselves. So, if we did take Royce, we would have had Alaba here. But if we took Sanchez, we would be screwed because we wouldn't have a BPL left back. So our choices here, realistically, are Jordi Alba, not a great choice because it's only a soft link. Felipe Luis, not a great choice because it's only a soft link. Or Marcelo, which is a great choice because it's a strong link and that requires now only one more link, one soft link in that centre midfield to give them both the chemistry that they need. So team of the year Marcelo, team of the year Ronaldo, for me, makes perfect sense so far up to what we've seen. Next centre midfield spot. Now we've got some choices. Now we now 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 is where it's like, okay, what do we do here? Because we could take Tony Crow, he gets a strong link to Gareth Bell. That's logical. For me, that's the first logical thing. We could take Iniesta, who we could then put over on that left hand side. Uh, he'll give the links needed to Ronaldo and um, Marcelo. And then if we get a Spanish centre back from La Liga, he will also get full chem. That'd be pretty good. Perlo just doesn't fit the team, which is a little bit unfortunate. And Verratti also doesn't fit the team. Um, whilst Vidal doesn't fit the team, I would be inclined to take him because of how good he is. Like, if we took Vidal and put him in centre, like, the cam spot, and then we got a Lewandowski, okay, it's me projecting and, and expecting something to come. But I, I like to take a risk to have fun players. I'd rather try and get really good players and, and end up coming up short than just going for the safest option every single time. With that being said, this time around, this Tony Kroos is a really good option to pick because we take him, we flip him over there, and although the team chem totally has dropped, Kroos will now get perfect chem, as will Ronaldo, as will Marcelo, no matter what we do in defence. And then at right back, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what we get. So we get ourselves... Juniga, Bellerin, Serna, Vanderwil, and Mykon. So we've got uh, two Syria, a BPL, a Russian league, and a, a French league. And again, it's like, it doesn't really help too much. We'll take probably Mykon because he gets that strong link into Pjanic, which will give Pjanic 7 chem if we can't fix Bale. And then also, if we get um, uh, Salah up at right, right forward, the team of the season version, that's perfect there as well. So... You know, Mykon's a smart choice here. He's not a bad player. Okay, the pace is a little bit lacking for a fullback, but his, his well-rounded card is there, so I'll take that no problem at all. Left centre-back, what are we going to get as our options? Barzagli, Varane. I mean, Varane, for, for straight away, like, you could go Zapata, put him in that right centre-back spot. Now, if we actually took um, Zuniga, he would have been perfect here, right? But we didn't take him and I can't go back because I didn't know Zapata was going to come up here. Like, I can't predict the future. I can't predict what's going to come. Dan definitely isn't going to get taken. Matip isn't going to get taken. So, the two choices realistically here are Bonucci or Varane. Now, the only reason why I would take Varane over Bonucci is because he gets perfect, well, strong links to both Kroos and Marcelo. Uh, not only that, but he's also fantastic with 80 pace, 6 foot 3, 86 defending. Um, Bonucci also has very, very good card stats, great work rate, 6 foot 3 as well. But the strong links into Kroos and Marcelo are more valuable for me than the soft links into Pjanic and Maicon. And then the other centre-back we get... So we do get a Spanish centre-back if we did take before the uh, the Iniesta, but we didn't. There is no Syria centre-back here. So I am left again with either BPL or La Liga. So it just matters which one do I prefer. Now, this Ruiz card has always been good to us. Um, but Bartra, what are their work rates? High, medium, six foot. 
medium, medium six foot. So just from work rates alone, I will take this Ruiz card and throw him in there. And then in goal, we're now looking for a La Liga goalkeeper. Um, we don't get one. We get Mandanda, we get Buffon, we get Enyema, Butland, and that team of the season there. And I guess the, the, the most logical choice... Oh, I suppose actually Mandanda works because he gives a soft link to, um, to Varane. The, the, the two choices here, so would either be Buffon under the expectancy that we get a centre-back. And if we did take that Bonucci, it would have worked out pretty well for us here because Varane would have had perfect chem. Buffon and Bonucci would have also had the perfect chem. My con would have got perfect chem. The only person that would have suffered would have been Pjanic. But again, I couldn't, pre like, I couldn't predict what cards were going to come up. So I had to take based on what was offered there. And the most logical choice for me was the Ruiz card just because of the, the way the links were. In fact, we took we took Varane over Bonucci, didn't we? So we couldn't have even taken Varane over, sorry, Bonucci over Ruiz because of the way it worked. So we're going to take uh, Mandanda here just to get that chemistry boost straight away. We really, really need to sort these two centre midfield, central uh, central attacking players out. We'll go into the reserves now and see what we get. So we get, we actually, oh, Jesus Christ, I actually did get that Lewandowski card. We get Handanovic, he just doesn't fit the team anymore. Um, Bellarabi doesn't work, Hulk doesn't work, Felipe Luis isn't a bad shout, but we've already got our left side covered so we don't need it. So I'm going to take Lewandowski and hope that we get another bite, like a Thomas Muller or a Vidal again showing up would be great. And they aren't showing up, but what has shown up here is interesting. Royce just, Royce does fit, but I'm, I'm not going to take out that Ronaldo, Kroos and Marcelo. They're per like, that left side is just linked so perfectly, it's the right side we've got to fix. We could take Alexandro as either a substitute or a Syria backup midfielder or, or whatever that we need to do. We could play him at centre back for you know if we needed to. In fact, take, I'm going to take him anyway because he's just the best, best player there. But yeah, putting him here because of the strong links he gets and gives to uh, the dudes around, we actually get a little chem boost by putting him into the team, which is very nice indeed. Next up, we get Nathaniel Klein, Soriano, Strutman going throughout on Bovo and it's this is the one occasion where it has to be a player that I don't want to take and that's Strootman and that's because we put him in there and although we we haven't gained chemistry yet I have no doubt about it that we will eventually get the chemistry or the player that we need uh, to link him you know he gets a link to Pjanic he's got a strong link to Pjanic he gives Pjanic chemistry which is great okay choices 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 Belenov no chance. Maxwell, no need. Kalanoglu. See, th this, I, I think, I think, personally, this is where people have frustrations with the way I draft. Most people say, take Kalanoglu, put him in at that camp spot, get Lewandowski to 7 chem, get Kalanoglu to 7 chem. No problem at all. And he's actually got a really decent card. Some would say, take Perisic. Play him wherever you need to to boost the Serie A links wherever you need to. You know, you could play him up at right right wing. He wouldn't get, like, perfect chem, but he would give off chem. And it would just help the overall team. And I personally would want to take Neymar. Because putting Neymar into this team or using him as a sub, as a team of the season version, is the most beneficial thing, in my opinion. Like, Kalinoglu and Strootman, either way, if I, if I use Strootman in a game... And the game's going badly. I will sub on Neymar. I'll put Ronaldo in midfield. I'll put Neymar at left wing. If I'm using Kalinoglu in game. And the game's going badly. I will do exactly the same. I will sub off Kalinoglu. I will put in Neymar. And I'll put Ronaldo into centre midfield. So whether or not I take Kalinoglu or not. That he would get subbed out. If things were going poorly. It's just the way it is. So with that. I prefer to take Neymar. Because as a substitute. Or even, even as a player on the team, like if we put him up front, he actually just helps chem because he gives Bale seven chemistry. Um, I prefer him. I just prefer him there. And uh, it's actually worked out for chemistry for us uh, overall as well. So our last player here. Um, now this is interesting. Han, Han has no chance. Drogba has no chance. Morata. Morata's got hope, hasn't he? Because Morata at striker... And then, we, mm, I think Morata has to be the guy, right? I would prefer to take... Mkhitaryan doesn't work. I mean, Mkhitaryan would work because we could put Mkhitaryan and Lewandowski. And Lewandowski would get 7 chem, Mkhitaryan would get 7 chem. 
So, okay, so now we've got choices again. So now, now th this is why, right, I'm already looking at the clock and it's 15 minutes on. This is why I kind of rush a few decisions because we're, we're barely halfway through the draft, right? I could take McTarion and we could go Lewandowski up front, 7 chem, McTarion right wing, 7 chem. Or I could take Morata and we would go Strootman, 10 chem, Morata, 7 chem, Gareth Bale would drop down to 5 chem and we don't have a replacement. I could take Di Maria as a sub because he's so damn amazing, but then we're left with like really needing a La Liga striker or a La Liga centre mid throughout the subs, which is, is highly plausible. Um, so the, the choices are there. Like, How good is this Mkhitaryan card? 87, 89, Morata 86, 86. We'll, go, we'll, take, we'll take Morata. I'll do that and I'll put Morata up front. That puts up to 91 chemistry. Um... And as I said, I knew I knew it would, but it ruins uh, it ruins that link with Bale. Um, so we're going to need a better rifle. Interestingly, Morata does have a Real Madrid card. Uh, it would be very nice to have the Real Madrid Morata there. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have him now. A better goalkeeper would be nice. Now uh, Gianluigi Buffon would be good here. We've missed our chance on that. Um, Valdez is not an option for us. Lopez is all right, but he's going to get the same, just one soft link. That's it. Uh, Rui Patricio doesn't work. Like it, it, We're just going to go for the highest rated, and that's Lopez. So uh, that works there. Now, I could put Ruiz back into the team. We go down to 88 chem and then put Lopez in goal, and that takes up to 94 chem. So that actually helps the chemistry of the team quite considerably. Um, and that's that's that, really. That's, that's all there is to that, to be perfectly honest. Now, if we put Alexandro up in this corner here, boom. That puts us up to 99 chemistry. And pick. I knew Alexandro would be useful on that right-hand side somewhere. What we've actually got here is a very, very strange hybrid. Like, you've just got the curved left-hand side there and the curved right-hand side for the Serie A. But it's worked. The only real player that's giving us a problem is Alexandro. Um... The rest of the team is, is pretty damn good. And now improving players would be where we're at. So looking for a better... Um, what do we got here? Syria. See, we've got Digne, but he, do, he just, just doesn't... Like, we're not going to use him. No, none of these players here are worth absolutely anything to us. Um, and so, yeah, it, it, just, it just doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter who we have where there. It's the midfielder. Strootman is the one that I really want to get rid of. Strootman is the guy that I'm, I'm not overly happy with. Um... Koulibaly might work. One, two, three. Yeah, Koulibaly is actually a solid, solid choice here. Because we put Koulibaly in at centre-back. And then we put Mandanda back in goal. And that puts us up to 100 chem. Everyone in the defence is on 10 chem. Literally, the only thing we need now is a right forward that works for us. A right wing or a right forward or a right mid that suits us. We get Isco. Now, Isco actually does work. Oh no, because we, no, Bale, we don't need that link. Gustavo, n none of these players actually help. Um, so it's, it's more about taking somebody who would be good to, to as a sub. And I think bringing on Gustavo as our sub so that we can put him in centre midfield instead of Strootman might be a good choice. But I'll probably sub off the Strootman for Bale if we're struggling. So other than that, I want to go high rated because we're actually getting a pretty decent team here together, aren't we? Yeah, we've got some big players. I'm going to take Ozil just for the rating in this in this instance for no other reason. Because when we put Neymar onto the bench, when we put Bale onto the bench and when we put Lewandowski onto the bench, we're actually going to have a really, really high rated team. Um, so next up, we will take the uh, we'll take the next position and it's going to be... Again, not, nothing, nothing here helps. We don't have we we don't have Serie A. We don't have a La Liga card that helps. So taking the highest rated again will be the logical choice, and that is Dennis Suarez. Next up, we get Muller. Isn't it interesting that now we could do Muller Lewandowski? But that that right side is just complete. Taking Muller and Lewandowski out wouldn't work because I don't have the like I'm missing. Mm, Alright, well, choices. We're taking, we're taking Muller here. Like, let me pick the next pick before I explain why. In fact, we could take... No, that doesn't work. Bacali doesn't work. Pantilimon doesn't help. Ferre doesn't help. Mamave doesn't help. I'm going to take Kramer anyway. Right, so... 
if we put Muller up at right forward and then Lewandowski up at striker and then put that there and then Gareth Bale in here. Where's Gareth Bale? That's only 90 chem. All right, that 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 doesn't that doesn't work. Okay, I, I it doesn't work how I thought it was going to work. That's no problem. So we'll get we'll get Pjanic back in it. So this is the team we've got. It's actually a 190. It might it might become a 191 with uh, Cardona there. It says 189. Let's swap those around. So it's it's a 189 team. The worst part of the whole team is Strootman, right? So this is the team we've built. It's a 189. It's a pretty good team. I'm really happy with the defense. The likely substitutes that I'll make. See, the, the difference is I could get everyone here on 10 chem. It's just whether or not we would prefer Morata and Sandro compared to Muller and Lewandowski. We'll, we'll, start, we'll start with Assyria. We'll start with Assyria. We'll do that. We'll give everyone there the 10 chem. The only player off chem completely is Alexandro. And if we can get a Serie A manager, that won't be a problem anymore anyway. Um... So the likely subs that we'll make in this team here, right, is Neymar and Bale will come onto the field for Strootman and Mike on, and Alexandro will be moved down to right back because compared to Mike on, he's just head and shoulders above. Gareth Bale will go into centre midfield because he, he makes a really good centre midfielder and Neymar will go up at right forward. That's if we need them and if we're losing. And then we'll have one spare substitute for later on in the game, which will be either Lewandowski, Ozil, Suarez, Muller or Cardona, wherever we need the extra the extra help. Um, it will most likely be either a Muller or a Lewandowski for a Tony Kroos because his pace eventually, get you know, late on in the game gets the better of him. But that's the draft team, guys. Now, if we can get a manager, a Serie A manager is what we're looking for. We don't get one, so we'll take the Liga... The, the Brazilian manager to give uh, the do, yeah yeah to give um, to give uh, Sandro four chem. Now the way the chemistry works, if you guys don't know, base chemistry is four point nine. So four point nine chemistry equals card stats, right? And it's not card chemistry; it's base in-game chemistry. And the way it's worked is the Individual chemistry is worth 75% of chem points and the team chemistry is worth 2.5% of chem points. So what we get is uh, Sandro gets three chem out of his four, 75% for uh, his individual chemistry and 25 from the team chemistry because it's 2.5%. So he actually gets 5.5 chemistry in game. I know it says four on his card, but he gets 5.5 in game because of what we've got going on here. And as I said, card stats, are 4.9 so he gets a boost to his card stats so he will actually play really really good as a right wing because he's high medium three star skill moves great pace and dribbling he'll make a really really good right wing there so going forwards it's very possible that what we could actually do is swap out Mike on for Gareth Bale at right back and uh, Strootman for Neymar you know, if, if we're enjoying Sandro at that right wing spot, who knows? We might not even need to make subs. We might go out in the first round. We might win easily with this team. Who knows? But it's taken me nearly 25 minutes now. This is exactly why I rush things and why sometimes I make very silly mistakes is because I try and fit the draft into like a 10 minute segment. When I, when I calculate every choice and every move, you end up with a 24, 25 minute segment before we even get into the gameplay and the packs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and play the draft. Um, I might I might just skip the gameplay and just go straight to the packs based on... If, if I go out early, I'll probably show the gameplay. If I win the draft, I probably won't show the gameplay because then you're adding another 8 minutes on for gameplay and then another 4 to 5 minutes for packs. It's going to be a 40 minute video and that's just too long. But that, guys, is the end of the draft. Let's get into the gameplay. Maybe. So guys, we end up going out in the second round, and off the back of that, I won't be showing um, any gameplay today, just because how long this video is going to be. We won the first round 3-1, very nice indeed. We end up losing in the second round 2-3-1 uh, as well, and I, I, I played a guy with a guest, and playing against guests is just really hit or miss. They're either going to be terrible or incredible, and unfortunately on this occasion, they were very, very good, and um, I took a loss. We actually scored a hat-trick with Morata in the first game, he scored all three goals, and then our goal scorer in the second game... 
was Gareth Bale, I think. I can't I can't remember. It might have been Ronaldo. Ronaldo penalty is what it was. But this team was alright. But this, this video is more about just explaining a little bit more in detail how I draft and so on and so forth. And our prize, as per usual, is going to be pretty garbage. Jumbo goal pack and two goal pack. That's actually horrendous. That's... For losing in the second round, that's like we didn't even get a rare gold pack. Like, um, yeah, the premium gold pack. That's really bad. At least we didn't get a pre you know a silver players pack. So uh, we'll see what we can get out of these. We start off by getting Denisov, who's not massive for the club at all. We get him Titties, the Barcelona transferred card, who could be uh, worth a little bit to us. Our rare card is the Valencia third kit, which isn't going to be very useful to us at all. Now the jumbo gold pack is going to be even worse, most likely. Because of how many items it has compared to how many rares. But our second gold pack has Jonatas in the pack as our gold. We get some coins in there, which is very nice indeed. 500. And yet again, our rare card is a kit. Again, that sucks. That really does suck. It's a shame that it was a kit. And now for our jumbo gold pack. Somebody tweeted me today with a really good 5k pack. He got Alexis Sanchez striker. So I wonder if we can get anything good. No, we can't. Wow. We get Kaya, a 77-rated centre-back. We get uh, Kane, um, a Chelsea right-back. I don't know if he's in... Is he a new transfer? I don't know. We'll get 400 coins for him, though. So that's not that's not too bad. We also get De Guzman, who I believe is a brand-new transfer. Yes, he is. So let's, uh, let's pop him straight up, 350-10k, see what we can get back for him. You never know. We might just make a little something back. And then a goalkeeper training card is one of the... Uh, Rares. This kit, maybe this kit's worth a little bit. Nope. Unlucky. Uh, we'll send all that to the club for now and we'll discard the remaining players. None of those are going to sell. 1,200 coins. So we definitely made a loss here today. Um, but as I said before, I just wanted to kind of like really kind of in detail show and explain. What did I sell? Wow, that cane guy sold straight away. Holy. Um, yeah, just kind of like wanted to show and explain how I build, why I build, what I build, and that's exactly what I've done. So um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.